as administrator right now first i am trying to create operator id what is the rule category organization operator id new let's say training op 12 training op 12 create what are the parameters full name here you need to specify right training operator 12 in the work settings tab what we need to specify the organization unit so by default what would be the default organization paga.com under that the division is administration under that unit is installation and go to advanced tab allow rule checkout now I would like to specify an access group but here I am trying to specify an access group training app12 let's say colon developers this is not existing here this is not existing here but here there is an open icon if you click on that if you specify any existing access group let's say if I am specifying any existing access group if you click on that it will open that rule form access group rule form now if I specify the access group which which is not existing if you click on that it will ask us to create the new access group with the given name right now you can click on create so application is also not existing right so I'm also trying to specify an application which is not existing what would be the version 0 .01? Now, if you click on create, if it already exists the application, it will show you the application rule form. If it is not existing, it will ask us to create the new application. <coughs> Built on application is always Pega rules. Version is 06.01. Then I am trying to specify the rule set training RS12. 01-01-01 but this rule set is also not existing so when you click on open it will ask us to create the new rule set now we can go to this security allow rule check out now can I save this operator ID rule whatever the access group that we have seven specified here is it existing no so then it won't allow us to save. Now, in the access group, can I save it? Well, because the application does not exist. Then, will it allow us to save this application? No, why? Because the rule set specified. Now, we need to start saving the rules from where? From the rule set. Save this. Next, save the application. Next, go to this access group and go to settings tab specify it as developer if you want you can also specify the secondary portal layouts now you can save this access group rule before saving this we need to specify <coughs> the remaining parameters pega sample here pega rules this is for now we can save this access group rule now we can come to here and now you can save this operator ID. Now we can just log out and log in as training OP12. Training OP12. See here. And what is the application name? So if you want to see the profile or the rule form of the operator who is connected right now, you can click on this down arrow, just operate. It will show you the rule form of the operator, current operator who is connected to the PRPs. Similar to that, if you want to see the access group that is assigned to the current operator, you can click on that. Similar to that, if you want to see the application, you can click on that. Here, we are able to see only two explorers, right? We should see how many explorers? Four. What are the missing explorers? Application explorer, rules explorer. After that, class explorer <coughs> and used by application. 
if you want to see all the explorers you need to click on that preferences view show all now we are able to see the four explorers now we'll also we can also switch from here to which portal why because we have given that user portal as secondary portal layouts right see all these four sessions 10 minutes see the further you need to have the proper practice right it can be explained in 10 minutes also but so in the beginning we should not do that you need to know what is what right everything you need to know <laughs> that's why i have taken around four sessions to explain about it right you need to remember what are all the parameters need to specify at the time of creating these four rules for the operator id what are the parameters you need to specify one is full name access group in the general tab in the work settings tab organization unit in the advanced tab allow rule checkout then for the access group application name work pool access roles default portal layout secondary portal layouts and production rules for the application rule built on application and its version application rule sets if you want you can also specify <coughs> the production and component and share rule sets so at the time of creating the rule set rule set name corresponding version required rule set then use checkout 